FBI Director James Comey tells CNN in an off-camera meeting with reporters today, federal investigators had seen Elton Simpson's extremist social media comments referencing the cartoon event in Garland, Texas, and alerted local police three hours before the event started. Comey also said he knows there are other Elton Simpsons out there. Oh, mashallah. For the first time, we are hearing directly from gunman Elton Simpson talking about his Muslim faith in a 2012 fundraising video at an Arizona mosque. When you come together and you pray five times a day, it provides for you uh, a form of weaponry to go out into the real world. Simpson's online presence showed a more extremist view. CNN has learned he not only communicated publicly on Twitter with known terrorists, but also messaged privately with Mohammed Hassan. <laughs> an American-born member of Al-Shabaab, the Al-Qaeda affiliate in Somalia, and Janaid Hussein, a British-born ISIS recruiter and hacker. U.S. investigators believe Hussein and Hassan each helped radicalize Simpson, encouraging him to carry out an attack, but it's believed Simpson chose the target. An evangelical pastor close to Simpson says he was not surprised to hear Simpson's name connected with the Texas terror attack. The had expressed to me admiration specifically for Osama bin Laden. He used the word hero, which surprised me at the time, but now that I understand his thinking better, it's actually not that surprising. Now, in Simpson's case, we have learned that the FBI shared a picture of him in a possible license plate, but it's unclear whether that information made it to the officers on the street there in Garland or uh, played a role in that quick reaction from the Garland police officer in killing those two suspects. Jake?